Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. And you know, as always, keeping it real for you and giving serious education and opinion on Caspa. So we got a ton of news topics. As always, every single week, practically, there's always crazy new stuff happening with Caspa. To, but to begin, let's first talk about statistics. Where's Caspa sitting at? So currently, trading volume is sitting at $8.7 million dollars holding at about 0.034 in price market cap sitting at 715 million we already know that coin market cap cannot get the ranking correct but on coin gecko we are currently sitting at number 51 in the whole entire crypto market based on market cap the highest hash rate we've seen so far is 18.04 petahash currently sitting at 17.13 petahash currently we have 70 percent mined and in four days, Caspa reward will drop once again. And if you do go to Casta FIOI, you can actually see the emission schedule here as well. And you can go down to see exactly what is next. 174 Casas next per block reward. Currently, we're sitting at 184 Caspa per block reward. So difficulty is rising. Caspa block reward keeps decreasing. So mining is getting very, very competitive. Really interesting to see. Looking at the top 10 addresses, we could see here that currently we have not really gained any more humpbacks. The whales have not been moving too much in the past seven days. We've added six more whales. When it comes to sharks in the past seven days, we've lost 16. So very interesting to see that majority of all this is green. Top addresses, we could see it's still currently exchanges. We have Mexi at number one. I remember last news video, we were talking about Mexi and their wallet being really weird. Randomly, they finally revealed their wallet, loaded a ton of Caspa in there, and now they're currently sitting at number one, almost at a billion Caspa. They hold 3.8% of the supply. KuCoin holds 3.6% of the supply at 749 million. Gate.io, another big one, holding about 3% of the supply. And then moving on through these, this wallet is an unknown wallet. It's always been unknown. This wallet right here is a brand new wallet that has been loading up like crazy. I'm speculating that it's the tier one exchange listing that we're still waiting on. And then we have Coinets, BitGet, and these two wallets that we don't know who they are and the Rust fund in the top 10. So the distribution in the top 10 is really, really well. It's mainly exchanges, nothing really to worry about there. And after number six, none of them hold 1% of the supply so moving on to news topics so we have new exchange listings so to begin a new exchange listing here is a russian exchange that recently listed caspa for usd usdt i know this isn't really important for many of us but either way exchange listings are always good for caspa because caspa should be available to the whole entire world Another one I want to talk about is Bitmart. Now, Bitmart is actually a pretty significant exchange. This isn't the tier one that we're still waiting on, but Bitmart is pretty significant simply being because if you do look at the crypto exchanges and if you go by the rankings right now, they're ranked by right here. If we rank them by 24 hour volume, we can see that Bitmart is actually up there when it comes to volume on the exchange, even though they're ranked number 40 over here. But you have Binance, Bitforex, Mexi. You know, Mexi is up there as well when it comes to volume. So, you know, we're waiting on a top tier one exchange, which would be Coinbase, Bybit, KuCoin, Kraken, or Bitstamp. These are one of the top fives here. Currently, they're not even ranking Binance as a top five. A lot of people have different ideas of which ones are really considered a top five tier one exchange. But either way, by volume, Bitmart, even though it's number 40 here in this list, it's still pretty good with volume. But it again, it doesn't allow U.S. investors, which is an exchange that we seriously do need for Caspa is a, an exchange that allows to buy spot Caspa and actually sell it and withdraw it from the wallet. Currently, we only have Uphold, and Uphold does not let you withdraw still. Moving on, we got a new node provider. Now, Caspa is on Now Nodes. If you are interested in this kind of stuff, Now Nodes is providing a full node for Caspa. And 
essentially this isn't so necessary for Casper just simply because it is very easy to solo mine with it. So you don't really need to use these third party middlemans to run a full node. But in some cases, the hardware requirements may be too high for some people so you can get access to a full node there. Also moving on, we have Shy giving a Rust update. Now, this came out on August 24th. I'm going to leave the link down below. I'm not going to read through this because it's a lot of more technical stuff, but just showing that there were things going on this whole entire time. It's not like they're doing nothing. There's a lot of things that were being done, fixing bugs and whatnot, getting ready to bring back Testnet 11 and prepare for the Rust update on the mainnet. But this came out on August 24th, but recently this past week, Shy on August 31st said, keep your eyes peeled, Cass, big things are coming. And this is because on the Telegram, Michael over here said, based on our overall progress, I think we should target a Testnet 11 relaunch plus mainnet beta at the end of next week, or at least within the coming two weeks. So this month in September, we may be seeing a testnet 11 relaunch which was them testing 10 blocks per second on rusty caspa and then we also may see a mainnet beta meaning that they're preparing for the actual main launch of rusty caspa with 10 blocks per second to be put on the mainnet which would require a hard fork so they may start testing the beta already for people so that now we can actually figure out how long we need to keep testing this for figure out all the bugs that need to be fixed so that we could prepare for a full on hard fork to this new software coding language of Rust. Currently, Casper is on Golang and Rust will introduce a lot more capability for Casper. And I honestly believe this may be a reason why new exchanges may be holding off just simply because this hard fork is going to happen. And when a hard fork happens, these exchanges do have to make sure they upgrade their integrations with Caspa to be aligned with the hard fork and all that kind of stuff. Typically on our end, we don't have to do anything. This will all happen in the back end with the integration and all that. So I think essentially when Rusty Caspa does get launched, more major exchange listings will be looking more into Caspa simply being because having Rust on Caspa actually should allow for a lot more easier integration and a lot more easier for developers to work on Caspa. So it's a really needed essential upgrade for Caspa to continue fixing the base layer and making the foundation as strong as possible. Moving on, we also got a new mining pool. So this is a uh, Hivion official unveils a new Caspa mining pool offering a low 1% pool fee. Expect no hidden charges and steady rewards. Be ready to redefine your cast mining journey. And essentially Caspa is going to be run by the mining economy for the most part this is what secures the whole network this is what makes caspa a thing is the mining economy behind it and more pools are always good for caspa it just means more adoption and also looking into that you could see here that the mining pools right now the emission for every 24 hours caspa is emitting about $564,000 every 24 hours, meaning that it's in the top three of proof of work coins that is emitting a certain amount of money. Bitcoin sitting at $24 million, Dogecoin $862,000. We're not even that far away from being number two in emissions. And this just shows why mining Caspa is very profitable and it's very important to follow the miners. Looking at this video here of Son of a Tech, he is a pretty big YouTuber, minor YouTuber, and this is his conclusion on Caspa mining for the future. And I do think that Caspa has a greater chance in general of being successful than any other ASIC mineable altcoin. And that is why I will consider purchasing a few of their ASICs in the future. And I do. And so there you have it. A lot of people think that Son of a Tech is like ultra bearish on Caspa or something like that. I know he's given predictions that are very low price predictions or whatever, but he's always just trying to go off of what he knows and understands when it comes to mining. He's mainly just a miner. So he's just using his knowledge to try to understand and predict the future of what's going to happen with Caspa. But at the end of the day, 
he's still concluding that Caspa is probably going to be the best proof of work coin for ASIC mining. And that is just simply being because it was built for it. I mean, the rapid emission schedule was a genius idea to account for the fact that Yonit's new adoption may come a lot quicker than what people would initially ex expect for Caspa. So follow the miners. You know, the mining is a huge industry. And when people buy mining rigs, that's basically an investment in the future of the coin because you would not buy the mining rig unless you thought that the price was going to continue increasing in the future to pay back all of the mining hardware that you did acquire. So, and personally, I really hope that the mining hardware does become cheap. You know, people don't account for, yeah, they're really expensive right now, but because of the difficulty, they will eventually become cheaper. People don't account for the fact that Caspa is going to be increasing its blocks per second. So that means that it will allow for more miners to have a advantage in still finding blocks, even though having a lot less better powerful hardware there's still people i know that are still mining caspa using ks zeros and they still are making some money they're still making some kind of profit in caspa and there's this common belief that people believe that every miner just simply mines caspa to sell it and that is it but there's full proof with tactical investing which is another miner on youtube he has this tweet here saying, my first cast mining reward was 1,219 Caspa. That was worth $2.43 then. After electric, I lost money every day. But continue mining due to conviction. Conviction is why 50x my profits in less than a year. Conviction will keep you going when dollar signs cannot. You see, not every single miner is in the game here just to simply mine and sell cover their cost and that's it some miners actually understand what caspa is doing what's being built here and so either way when you buy a miner it's essentially an investment into the future outlook of the project and you possibly believe that the project should be successful so just keep that in mind and i remember many people saying that in august august it was completely caspa was gonna die it's gonna go back to under one cent and uh we're in september now and really, in August, we created a new all-time high and had a proper correction, just like Casper has been doing many, many times before in the past. And I'm not a trader. I really don't care. I've always said I just dollar cost every single week. And I look at the fundamentals and try to educate people on what they're holding, because that's more important than trying to guess where the price is going to go, because your guess is just as good as my guess. No one really knows where it's going to go. Anyone who thinks it's going to go lower, someone else thinks it's going to go lower than what you think. So just keep that in mind. And as an investor myself, I'm a long-term visualizer. I think long-term. I don't think in short-term price action because that's just very stressful and not a proper way to invest your money. You should look at the fundamentals and determine if this is worthy enough to put your money and just not think about it and just stay up to date with what you are investing into to know if you should make any other decisions. Moving on, we can see here that Caspa keeps getting a lot of recognition in Africa. There is a person, an ambassador over there that keeps hosting events. And on September 2nd, which is today when I'm recording this video at some hotel, they're actually going to be having a discussion of caspa introducing caspa to more people there and onboarding them to get involved with caspa so this is just really good to see especially in these other countries that their currencies are probably deteriorating at a way faster pace than something like the us dollar caspa cur currently shines bright as an alternative to the traditional financial system with its monetary policy being set and fixed at a capped supply and becoming a store of value and a medium of exchange because of the innovation that is brought to Caspa through proof of work and maintaining the same principles of Bitcoin, but bringing in scalability and having speeds that we have not seen before on a proof of work. Lastly, this is a really cool and major thing for the tandem wallets so tandem is making exclusive caspa cards currently right now you can go vote on the discord or which caspa card you want to see be created for tandem you can see the first one here is 
looks like this. And we got the second one here that has the main color scheme. And number three is just an all black card with the Casper logo. And so ultimately, I want to go with either having one or three just because I don't know. I just like the dark card look and feel. I like how the original tantrum cards are already dark. And this just looks really clean. Um, I don't want a card that's like really bright and showing everybody, look, this is a Casper card, but these right here look super clean. So I just voted for all of them on the Discord because you are able to do that and kind of just let the majority win. But currently, as of recording, if we do check the Discord, you could see here that the first option is winning so far with 470 votes. And that number three, which is that black, all black one, is at 328 so these are the top ones that want to be made tantrum did say that if one of them wins and enough people still want to see another card get created that we can do another vote for which card do we want to see created but just know that each new design needs at least 350 pre-sales before they go into production so the way this works is on tuesday september 5th this voting is going to end and then after that, there's going to do a pre-sale to get these cards. And there needs to be at least 350 sales so that they actually make the cards. And then after that, they'll start putting them into production and we could see them. Now, my code for Tangent, which is Casper Silver, will give you guys 10% off of these cards. And you will be able to get one of these exclusive cards using my code and you will get 10% off. I do receive a commission if you guys use my code. So thank you so much if you do decide to do that. But a plus to these cards is that they will introduce a new feature for Tangem, which is being able to see your seed phrase and allowing your seed phrase to still be connected to the card, but you can also write it down and view it. So I know that is a feature that many people we're wanting for Tangem, but I'm just letting you know this is going to be coming out for Tangem pretty soon, and these cards will be compatible. So you get a Casper exclusive card look, plus a new feature that I know a lot of people were telling me that they would never even consider Tangem unless this was available. Well, Tangem is listening to the community, and they're going to be providing this very soon. So just keep your eyes peeled for that and looking for that in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this Casper News update video. As always, guys, don't be average, be different, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.